Hi there, I'm Mark Nicholas, and I'll be talking you through the fundamentals of gameplay in EA Sports Cricket 2007. Let's begin with the batting. New to the game is the dual stick batting control. Once you've got the hang of this new control method, you'll never want to go back. Let's start with the basics. The left analogue stick controls batsman movement left and right in the crease as the bowler runs up. The right analogue stick controls both shot direction and timing. When the bowler releases the ball, treat the right analogue stick as the bat and push it in the direction you wish to hit the ball. Different directions on the right analogue stick result in different shots being played. The straight drive. The cover drive. The square cut. The deflection. The sweep. The hook. The pull. The on drive. To name a few. If you wish to play a defensive shot, push up on the right analogue stick with the appropriate timing. Lofting the ball is more risky, but can result in the ball flying over the boundary rope for six. Hold down L1 button whilst playing your shot to loft the ball. Remember, Shot timing is crucial, and playing too early or too late can have disastrous results. Well, well, exciting stuff. I've touched on what you'll need to know to get started. If you want to practice, then feel free to have a go in the nets or just play a match. There's plenty of fun ahead, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy EA Sports Cricket 2007. Hey, guys, and welcome back to the Retro Show. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe for regular retro content. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about um, crit well, playing Cricket 07, the epitome, in my opinion, of Cricket games, even until the present day. Nothing beats this. EA Sports at its finest. Let's watch the advanced tutorial and see what happens. I, I really don't know, but I quite like this music and Mark Coming Nicholas talking to us. It's a good way of getting to the pitch of the ball and is especially effective against spin bowling. Press R1 button whilst playing a shot to advance down the track. To advance down the track and loft the ball, press L1 button and R1 button together whilst playing a shot. Choosing whether to be on the front or the back foot when playing a shot is an integral part of batting technique. By default, foot selection is set to auto, and the batsman will automatically move onto the front or back foot. If you wish to manually control foot selection, go into My Cricket Controller Settings and set the front back foot selection to manual. When playing a shot, move up on the left analog stick to play off the back foot. We won't be doing that. This is probably too hard. If you want to play a front foot shot, move down on the left analog stick whilst playing a shot. The key to choosing the correct foot to be on is defined by the length of the ball. As a general rule, if the ball is bouncing around or above waist height, play back. If the ball is below the waist, play forward. It's really quite a good tutorial about cricket in general, to be Not quite honest with you. It needs to be dispatched to the boundary for four or six. Sometimes it makes more sense to push the ball around and work the ones and twos. This can be especially useful when trying to increase the confidence level of a batsman or when trying to keep an informed batsman on strike. Precision batting control uses three levels of power. Moving the right analog stick out to its foot. Right, okay, I'm done with that now. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, what are we gonna do? Uh, why not play now? Um, and we'll play it as England. Um, but you can see how many international teams are on here. A lot of them are quite um, well licensed as well, which is good. Uh, we'll play India actually, I think. 
obviously India um, versus England is, is going to be going on in the next couple of weeks. One of the reasons why uh, I'm actually doing this uh, episode. We'll play at Lords. Uh, we'll play a test match. Um, should we play four day? Why not a four day match? Um, random, random. Um, there's rain delays on this game as well, which is fantastic. Um, I used to be quite good at this game back in the day. I'm not going to go five star, but I'm going to go four star. A green pitch, sunny conditions, and it is warm. Um, oh, hold on. I think we've accidentally chose India as our team. Um, everything else is fine. Uh, it's dusty now. So there you go. Andrew Strauss, Marcus Triscothic, and uh, Michael Vaughan. Kevin Peterson will, of course, uh, assume number four. With Ian Bell at five. Andrew Flintoff at six. Uh, Geraint Jones at seven. Ashley Giles at eight. Uh, do we want that? Mm, debatable. Matthew Hoggard, Steve Harmison, and Monty Panesar. I don't want uh, all those players in there. We'll get Paul Collinwood in here. Um, and he can, well, if we maybe move those two, um, and we'll move him to six. Uh, yeah. So actually, Jazz can play there, and that looks like a pretty good one. Uh, we've got Dalrymple there as well. Mon uh, Alistair Cook, of course. Nah, I don't want to play him. Uh, Liam Plunkett, James Anderson in there, Sajid Mahmood, uh, Simon Jones, Ian Blackwell as well, uh, Chris Reed of, of course, so some very very good players in there, I'm very concerned I'm going to get some sort of um, copyright strike for all that music, so I'll try to keep talking as much as possible. But uh, I am looking forward to this. this four-day exhibition match. I'm Mark Nicholas and I'll be right here with you throughout the course of the game. If you win the toss here today, you've got to look to bat first. It's a very dry pitch, conditions overhead are clear, ideal really, sunny, a beautiful day for batting, and later in the match, it's almost bound to spin. It's a really crusty old surface. So India have won the toss and they're going to bat first. So we'll showcase the ball in a little bit, but I want to... I want to really get into the bat. Dusty pitch. He had to bat first to get best use of it. What's more, it's a lovely sunny day. So uh, from a batting point of view, everything's in their favour. From a bowler's point of view, it'll be a day for spin. So we're all ready for the first ball of the innings. And of course, Richie Benno as well commentating. Rest in peace uh, to the great Richie, um, who is just such a, a fabulous uh, commentator. And already a very nice delivery uh, from Steve Harmison, of course. 93 miles an hour, um, that there. We, we do want to turn off the pitcher and pitcher, um, perhaps. And Oh, no ball. There was a no ball by Harmison. Uh, we've got the Nat West there as well. Um, <laughs> nah, some fantastic um, music on this. We want the batsman time and gauge on there as well. Um, yeah, that'll do for me. Um, definitely get the getting a, a copyright strike. Coming around the wicket. Right, so we're, we're gonna try and, and swing it outside here. But I feel like my oh, for goodness sake. Harmison. Couple of no balls already from us here. Signal. No ball. No ball. Um, oh, for goodness sake. Let's maybe ball it there. Off. That was a no ball How? I, I pressed X a, a lot sooner than that. Three no balls on the trot. Yeah, th this is Steve Harmison esque. <laughs> Obviously, uh, 2007 Ashes didn't go too well for him. That was better. Nice bit of swing there as well. But bowling was very difficult uh, back then, and so it should be. You know, bowling is uh, probably the toughest part of cricket games always, but it's the, the, the toughest part for most um, most teams out there. That was only 81, a very tentative delivery there. Oh, I 
tell you what, that was a, a very decent delivery. A nice little uh, leg cutter there. Just sort of ball outside off stump, try and tempt him in. I mean, he played it. He shouldn't have played it. Well, there you go. Um, last one of the over for Stevie Armisen. Swinger here. Four, 93 mile an hour. Racing past. Uh, and I don't want Hoggard, to be honest with you. The only guy I want in the house is Mr. Andrew Freddie Flintoff, of course, England's talisman. Now, I remember bowling around about here used to be a decent tactic against right handers. Is it still? No ball by mm, maybe not. Especially when you bowl a no-ball. It is going to be like this until I get used to the game again. Of course, it is on uh, a difficult difficulty, so... You know, don't expect uh, perfection just yet. But, um... No, what do you think is going to happen to uh, England or, uh, and India in the upcoming series? I personally think India will wipe the floor with us. Um... To be honest with you, I really don't see England being able to uh, perform at the, the level that uh, India can. They're, they're, a, they're a top side, of course. Um, yeah, I don't think this tactic works anymore. Maybe they patched it. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah. No such thing as patches in, in these days. Um, I remember getting this game when it came out. That's a great shot. Lovely cover drive and the first actual boundary of the episode. Beautifully. That's a glorious boundary. Well, that'll certainly beat the fielder into the fence. Let's... Yeah, it was a, a lovely little shot. Let's try a bouncer. Ah, no ball. Oh, we hit him on the head. Look at him, he's fell over. <laughs> Ah, that's fantastic. Right, time for a Yorker. Oh, it wasn't possible. Never mind. I remember you had to be a, a certain confidence level. Oh, for goodness sake. No ball by Flintoff. I don't remember getting this many no balls when I when I used to play the game. Right, let's, let's try and bowl an in-swinger around there. Let's see how much swing you can get on the ball. That's found the gap in the field. Not bad. Just the one there. Now, shall we use a feature that I used extensively throughout my time on the game? The autoplay uh, feature. Let's see how many India can score here. Oh dear, already down to 5, 6, 7, 10, 127 all out, India. That is a disgraceful performance by them. I used to love this song <laughs> when, I, when I used to play it. Um, yeah, so our oh, scorecard is what we want. So Harmison uh, with a couple of wickets, Collingwood with three actually, Flint off with a couple as well, and three runouts. So much for the opening batsmen to do as they make their way to the middle. It's a formidable new ball attack against them. Up in the commentary box is Richie Ben. Thanks, Mark. It's Andrew Strauss on strike. So here we go. Andrew Strauss. Oh, I thought that was out for a second there. I can't remember the, the button to run. I think it might be circle. I might be wrong. Yeah, already getting the ideal timings there. Which is great to see. So, yeah. Do you watch cricket? Do you? Uh, what, what do you think about modern day cricket, if you like? Um, I used to watch cricket a lot back in this era, uh, so sort of mid to to late two thousands into the. Got him! Oh, he's out! Cracking catch. Probably shouldn't be driving those that early in the in the match. But Michael Vaughan, one of my favourite players of all time, stepping up now.
but um, yeah, so the early teens as well, I guess, I, I watched it. Um, but not so much nowadays, and it doesn't particularly interest me. I don't think there's uh, particularly well, many uh, uh, characters in the game, and I know a lot of years will disagree with that, but nobody is spin, but um, attracting me to the game as much as the likes of um, Peterson, Flintoff, Vaughan, Collinwood, you know, those sort of players. Is, um, yeah, it's just, just not the same for me. Not the same these days. But yeah, uh, let me know if you played this game. I played this game for probably thousands of hours. Because um, it was the only cricket game for a good three years. You know, I think Ashes Cricket 2009 was the, the next... Um, the next cricket game. Uh, certainly on... PS3, EA Sports didn't make another one after this. I think they did plan to. I think uh, Cricket 08 was meant to be a thing. Go for the the slog over the infield for four. Yes, lovely stroke. What a beauty! And how would have he enjoyed that? But um, yeah, uh, I mean Ash's cricket was. Just all right, but it's just not as good as this. Even the new Ashes cricket isn't as good as this, in my opinion. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun. It's accessible for all, and um, you know, it's got some great names in here. Great licenses, great commentary. Um, it, it's it is just an, an overall brilliant game, and I'm sure a lot of you agree. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of you. Um, we'll be feeling nostalgic and if you never played this game I do recommend going and picking it up I think it is only 50 pence in CEX or um, you know whatever your equivalent retro game store stall is um, yeah I mean we are hitting the the ball slightly late at the moment it's it's just probably Help. oh he's out That's a great sight for a he's out all over the hockey. Here he is, Kevin Peterson. We'll, we'll not get him out, don't you worry about that. Yes. Play it away with comfort. I think he was easily back in the crease there. That's yeah, a good I think he was as well. Peterson. But uh, the, they, did, they left gaps in the field for Peterson there. With a slower ball. Uh, but we'll play this for uh, another five, ten minutes or so. We'll, we'll try and maybe um, get a couple of boundaries. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Get two there. Nicely ran. That one was easily in. But I mean, the the animations. It just runs so smoothly. You know. Um, Oh, he would have been out there. Um, you know, just I feel like every game after this felt a bit, you know, robotic in the way the players played. But I feel like this is is fluid. You know, I think um, you know it, it genuinely feels like cricket. It's not a good judge of a run, is he? That's two more runs on the board. Overhead wide. Wow. Not often you get those. Oh yes, this is exactly where I wanted it. I wanted to play the cover drive. That was my favourite shot on this game. Oh, he played that and there it is. Absolute beauty. For four there. There it is again. That's another four. What can I say about that shot? He does look in good touch today. And finally, they put somebody out on the covers. Let's do a Kevin Peterson-esque thing and move yeah. and play it into here. the leg side. We can make it back for two. Very good running. Yeah, there, that's what we like. That's two more runs on the board. There 
There we go. That is Kevin oh, Peterson. He hits down the ground. Very good. And it's six. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Peterson on 19. Vaughan on six. Can we get Peterson to 50? Dive. Uh, just because it's fun. It's always fun to dive. Peterson. Just ask Deli Alley. Ooh. Hmm. Last delivery of the over. Stopped in the covers. So, nicely timed shot. But, uh, no. Good stop from the field there. Here we are again with the third over. He runs here. Should get back for two. Well run. If he was home to me, they've turned that into two. That's good running. And you know the the commentary just feels very good, in my opinion. You know, compared to nowadays, I, I don't think it's aged that badly. I think the the graphics are pretty That's, decent uh, as well. Yeah. To be honest with you, I mean, when you look at the the pitch like that, it, it doesn't look too different at all. There, uh, what we did. Oh, that was an inside edge. Um, it's certainly not too bad at all, in in my opinion. Um, and yeah, this this just was, and is the best the cricket game there ever has been, and probably ever will be until maybe a year do another one at some point. But I I don't see that happening. Don't think cricket is is that profitable an industry for uh, a game developer these days. You know, cricket That's just isn't as popular as sport. It's absolutely massive in the, you know, the Middle East. Um, and, you know, Asia in general. Um, but in Europe, it's it's just not got the pulling power. And, and in the West, it, it just doesn't. And that's where most of the gamers are. Um, you know. Played yeah. into the gap. Yeah, oh. Fielders appeal, but uh, he was quite comfortably home. Batsmen changed their mind. Yeah, I really want to get Peterson to 50. <laughs> that that is the aim of the episode. And I know Tij, you'll probably be out there watching this, and I know you don't Great like uh, Kevin Peterson. Great <laughs> shot! He just rocketed to the boundary. Well, that was fabulous from Michael Vaughan there. Be nice to get him to 50 as well. Way there at the end, didn't it? Yeah. Good couple of runs there. They've turned that into two. That's good run. His confidence is rising here, Michael, as you can see on the left there. That's out. That's out. Amazing. That's the truth, and he'll regret it when he sees the replay. Bell comes in at number four. So, Ian Bell at the crease now. Another classic. Ho! Oh, what a delivery. Could never get the square cut right on this game. It is something that always deserted us, so to speak. Hit straight to a fielder. That must be close. That could be out. That no should have been out, surely. Never a chance the umpire would give that out. I'm sure they need to keep the appealing to close calls, otherwise the umpire's gonna start to sway towards the benefit of the batsman again. Wow. And that was plum LBW to me. Let me know down in the comments if you disagree. Well, Peterson, a very lucky man. That was a very anxious moment for the batsman there. A couple of my runs there. And we're, we're getting close to the 50 mark. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. Oh, this could be tight. Really in he is out. 
He is uh, there Peterson is gone. Ah. The I can't even believe they tried. Ah. Never mind. Never mind. Peterson so gone. Getting yourself set. Oh, it was close as well. So, we'll play uh, another couple of overs. Oh, oh that's, that's got to be out, surely. The umpire's not moving on that not. one. Pitched outside the line. It was going too high. Right, come on. Come on, Paul. Oh, what a what a delivery! And that Collingwood gone for a duck, and now Freddie Flint off comes to the crease. Forty-five for five here. We're struggling, but you know I'd I'd be playing this more seriously if uh, we were playing more than a few yeah, overs. The, and the batsman into the drive, or of course down the pitch. Look at this. We're gonna give them all three stumps. That's out. That is an excellent catch. Now that's an important catch. Oh boy, is that an important catch. And didn't he do well to cling on? Right, finally, we've got that gap back in the. That was a very um, stops. In the covers. Let's just give ourselves a bit of room to do that. Run. Nice shot. By Geron Jones. Are they gonna manage to get well, it? That's Not quite. Didn't try to hit it too There you hard. go. Just, just stroked it away. But yeah, if, if you guys would like to see more videos on this, then it's definitely something that can be arranged. Um, and I'm sure, you know, people will enjoy it. And I'm really enjoying playing this. And we've brought the 50 up, which is a nicer. Oh, what a, what a delivery. And now Freddy. We'll play until Freddy gets out. So, uh, you know, those type of shots I'm not going to play away. I'm gutted Peterson didn't get his 50. <laughs> oh, off. that one pinged right off the helmet. Got to be a Yorker now, hasn't it? It's got to be. Run. Play it away with comfort. Run. Oh come on! Oh, Ooh. That must have been close. That's two more runs on the board. Yeah. It's straight to a fielder. I think he was easily back in the crease there. Giles facing. It's straight oh. to a fielder. Ah! That has to be close. That's out. That's out. And I think we're going to need the third umpire for this one. Yeah, that's well out. Yeah, massively out. Don't even know why the third umpire was needed there. He's just nowhere to you. That's the red light, he's out. That's the red light, he's out. <sighs> We're going to be balled out for 56 here. Look at this. Let's see if we can play a shot with all the stumps shown. Oh, there you go. Stopped That's a covers. beauty from Hoggard there. Look how small his timing window is. Um, well, here's Freddy again. Let's see if we can hit some sixes with Freddy. It's not going to quite go for six, but it'll be four. There's the umpire signal. Remember, it was a no ball. Come on. Ideal, a perfect example of how to play that shot, and he deserved four for it. Right, come on, Freddy. Another great shot, another four. We're going to try and hit every shot for a boundary that we can do. Oh, 
Oh, tie in the air, and it's out. And that, I think, is the last of our chances. I'm going to be bowled for 70, which, you know, I'm quite happy with. Four-star difficulty to come back. We've had a bit of fun. But there we go. 69 all out. We'll uh, simulate the rest of the match. And we'll see if... Um, We'll see if we, we manage to get the victory. Because remember, we're only about 50 behind. So, let's go to end of innings. And see uh, exactly what we're going to be left with. Uh, they're only three down at the moment, so this is pretty, pretty decent from them. But they're bowled out for 326, so it's going to be about 377 for our three Lions to win. Um, and, you know, it can be done. It certainly can be done. Um, well, what an amazing first inning. You know, we've got some, got some fantastic players in our ranks. So let's go for it and let's see what we get. So we're looking out for number four. It's Kevin Peterson. He's gone. Uh, pretty easily it looks like we are going to get just balled out here we do bat quite deep but I don't think we can do this ah what a shame 294 all out and we have lost the match by 90 runs we'll let Mark Nicholas talk and this is a side that when their backs are to the wall they seem to play their very best cricket Thanks Mark Nichols and thank you very much for joining me on this episode. If you have enjoyed then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out and it means a lot to me as well. Subscribe if you would like to see more and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.